The last couple of days, as daytime heating kicks in by the afternoon, we will see the chance for isolated showers and thunderstorms to develop as highs top into the lower 90s. That's your forecast first. NBC 10 News Today starts right now. You're watching KTDE, NBC 10, your weather station celebrating 65 years of keeping you informed, home of the live storm tracker Doppler, and voted by you as the best newscast in the Arklamas. This is NBC 10 News Today. Happy Friday to you. I'm Gabrielle Pfeiffer. Maya and Hunter have the day off. Well, new this morning, members of law enforcement agencies statewide met to send a message to their legislators asking them not to override the veto to the concealed carry bill, a bill that lessens restrictions. Political reporter Shannon Hecht spoke to officers and the senator who sponsored the bill on the impending veto override session. Members of law enforcement agencies from across the state say that this bill would put their officers in more danger when they're out on the streets. But the senator who sponsored the bill says that it can help people better protect themselves. The bill would allow people over 21 to conceal carry a firearm without a permit or training. It's just a, it boils down to asking the government for permission and paying them fees to exercise your constitutional right. The Chiefs of Police Association has been vocally against the bill from the start. Other law enforcement groups like the Sheriff's Association have taken a neutral stance. In attendance, sheriffs and police stood together to share their concern for officer safety. This by itself could increase violence as we know it. Officers say the training helps people be more responsible with firearms and without it, it could lead to more mistakes. And if everyone could have a hidden weapon, it could put more officers on high alert for every call. But Senator Morris says that that is already the case. Criminals will carry regardless of the law. This is just a law for law-abiding citizens uh, who want to protect themselves from those that would break the law. Louisiana is already an open carry state, but the officers say not being able to see the weapon adds to the danger. It puts people on notice that a firearm is present and it allows them to be better prepared. With violent crime on the rise nationally, officers say that this is not the time for this law. But those in support say they want to be prepared to defend themselves. Lawmakers have until July 15th to submit their ballots in support of the veto session, and it would take place on July 20th. There, they will need a two-thirds majority in the House and the Senate to override the veto. At the Capitol for your local election headquarters, I'm Shannon Hecht. Well, a man facing life in prison for killing a pregnant mother in El Dorado has accepted a plea deal. Jay Moody will serve two 40-year sentences for first-degree murder and 15 on a firearm enhancement for a total of 95 years. Moody was originally facing the death penalty for murdering a 22-year-old Marcella Modica outside of El Dorado. She was only weeks away from delivering a baby boy, J.C. Yon. Well, at least 15 drive-by shootings have happened in Bastrop in the last two months. We learned that statistic to yesterday as Bastrop police shared more witnesses are coming forward in the investigation into the shooting death of a 10-year-old on July 4th. Visitation and funeral services are happening Friday and Saturday. We have the times and locations of those services online on myarklemiss.com. Well, El Dorado police are investigating a shooting that left one man dead. It happened early Wednesday morning around 2 o'clock on Omega Street. Neighbors say they woke up to what they thought were fireworks, but it was actually gunshots. Police say when they arrived, 21-year-old Jacoby Edwards was found lying in the street unresponsive. What did you see when you looked out of your window? Just that... Uh... Cots are pouring up and doing CPR on the dude. Uh, I can't keep nothing down because uh, I feel like throwing up. <laughs> Just there was a shock of seeing what had happened. This is still an active investigation. Police haven't said what led to the shooting. They haven't released any information on the shooter. We will keep you updated as information becomes available. 
Well, on to a coronavirus update. Louisiana health experts say the Delta COVID-19 variant is now the dominant variant in the state. Cases, hospitalizations, and the positivity rate are all on the rise. Dr. Joseph Cantor says it's too early to tell if we are getting close to another COVID surge, but says if positive tests continue to grow for the next few weeks, a surge is possible. The risk of being exposed to COVID when one goes about their day-to-day -day activities is higher now than it was a couple weeks ago. Right now, the state is offering incentives to encourage you to get your shot. That includes the vaccine lottery, which has its first drawing next week. And the deadline for the first drawing is actually tonight. You must enter by midnight in order to be drawn for a $100,000 giveaway. It's the first of four $100,000 prizes leading up to the $1 million grand prize drawing on August 13th. At last check, more more than half a million people had signed up for the giveaway. And that Delta variant is also rapidly spreading across Arkansas for the second day in a row. COVID-19 cases have surpassed 1,000 in the daily case count. Current active cases are higher than active cases one year ago. And Pfizer says a third dose of its COVID vaccine could extend protection against the virus. Early data from the company's booster study found that a third dose given six months after the second generated antibody levels five to ten times higher than the two-dose regimen. The company is planning to tailor the third dose to target the Delta variant, which is already being considered the dominant strain of the virus in the U.S. Current evidence shows the Pfizer vaccine may not prevent this variant from creating mild disease, but it is highly effective in preventing severe disease and death. Well, on to education and news. Morehouse Parish School District is hosting a job fair today at Bastrop High School. In order to fill some vacant teacher positions, be sure to come prepared. Job interviews will be conducted on site during the career fair. Even those who aren't yet certified to teach may be able to qualify. The school district's personnel director says they are willing to reimburse tuition in order for college graduates to be certified. Or we are willing to work with individuals who have bachelor's degrees who are willing to consider a career in teaching. So they have to be enrolled in a teaching or teacher preparation program and we are able to provide tuition reimbursement for, um, you know, for the courses that they're taking. The job fair will happen again at the Bastrop High School Gymnasium. That's going on from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Well, big news in the state of Arkansas. The state fair is back uh, this year. Fair officials uh, made the announcement yesterday morning when the fair was canceled last year due to the pandemic. Organizers held the taste of the fair so people could still get their fair food fix. But this year it will be a full fair. Full fair. What does that mean? Well, that means... We're going to have a carnival, we're going to have a midway, we're going to have the games, the free attractions, we're going to have the pageants competitions and the talent competitions, the creative arts, the canneries, the pie contest, all of that stuff that you've known and loved for all of those years. Record-breaking attendance is expected this year, so organizers are asking people to who have not been vaccinated to wear their masks. The fair will be held from October 15th to the 24th. And another big news, we all know her, we all love her, and guess what? We'll have the chance to see her perform in person. Of course, you know she'll be going to Japan for another chance at the Olympic gold, but Simone Biles will actually be in Arkansas in October. That's right, she will be at the Simmons Bank in North Little Rock, headlining the gold, o the gold over America tour presented by Athleta. The tour will feature an all-star team of female gymnastics champions spreading messages of empowerment. Tickets will go on sale on July the 22nd. And around a dozen demonstrators staged a protest against the Tokyo Olympics today as the Olympic torch arrived in the game's host city. Despite authorities' announcement, 
Thursday to hold the games in Tokyo without spectators. The protesters called for a complete cancellation of games, citing rising COVID-19 infections across the capital. Well, still to come on NBC10 News today, could local landmarks like murals be boosting local businesses? We talked to local shop owners, but first, here's Lexi with a look at your fish and game forecast. Well, all I can say for today as we wrap up the work week is going to be a lather, rinse, repeat pattern. Temperatures will be getting back up into the 90s, but we are also going to see the chance for some isolated shower and thunderstorm activity. And we'll also have a closer look at what we could see for this upcoming weekend. We're going to have all those details coming up, but first let's get a look at your fishing game forecast. Outside. Outside? Well, today looks perfect for more treats and belly rubs. Yes! Join me every weekday morning for the Furcast, where I show off your precious fur babies. News sponsored by Billy Wood Ford and Gina. If you or a loved one were diagnosed with Parkinson's disease after exposure to the weed-killing agent Paraquat, you may be entitled to compensation. Call the local law firm of Watson, McMillan and Street to discuss your legal options and the damages to which you may be entitled. At Go Auto, we know car insurance can be expensive. The good news is, it doesn't have to be. Go Auto helps you save more money on car insurance. How do we do it? Well, that's easy. We have no commission agents, no expensive add-ons, low down payments. You can customize your payment plan and you choose your payment date. We just lowered rates in your area. So call, click, come by, or download our free app to get your quote and start saving today. Ready, set, go, 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 go on, go. I started Unitech as a single mom. I am a single mom of a, an autistic child. I wanted to be able to make a living for me and my three kids. I shouldn't be where I am today, but I am because of Unitech. Unitech really prepared me for my career. Thank you, Unitech. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Unitech. I'm Dina Head, founder and CEO of Unitech Training Academy. Success stories do start every Monday at Unitech. The only place to interact with your weather station's live Doppler radar is on the KTVE KARD Barron Weather app. Life-saving information in the palm of your hand, and it's free. Sponsored by bankruptcy attorney Sam Henry. What do you do when you're injured in a car wreck? Come on, Monroe. Everybody knows what to do. You make that one call. You call Morris Bart. One call, that's all. Because when you're injured in a car wreck, everybody knows who to call. Injured in a car wreck? Everybody knows. One call, that's all. Everybody knows. You call Morris Bart. What does it mean when I say make that one call? If you get injured in a car wreck, one call, that's all. This morning on Today, Duran Duran rocks us into the weekend with our favorite hits and new music, too. Don't let the party start without you and the City Music Series. This morning, only on Today. News, sponsored by Billy Wood Honda. Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. Now, your local weather with meteorologist Lexi Birmingham. Good morning, everyone, and happy finally Friday. We made it to the weekend. The time now is 514, and thank you so much for tuning in with us here on NBC10. Well, we're not going to be seeing too much difference in our weather pattern for today, but as we head into the weekend, it is going to be a little bit split. Taking a look outside right now, we're starting to see some subtle signs of our sunrise, but also just a little bit of cloud cover off towards our east. As far as our temperatures are concerned, it is a warm start out there. We are waking up into the 70s across the Arklamas, including 
including 73 in Vicksburg and Natchez, 74 in Greenville. Meanwhile, it is 75 in Monticello, and our warmest temperature so far is Texarkana at 76 degrees. Live storm tracker Doppler radar showing for the most part we are nice and dry, but we are picking up on just a little bit of light shower activity across portions of Concordia Parish. Now, once again, once the daytime heating kicks in later this afternoon, we will see another round of isolated showers and storms along a sea breeze boundary kind of move through our area. But after sunset, those rain chances will begin to fizzle out. But we will be off to a rather cloudy, warm, and muggy start heading into our Saturday morning, only to see daytime heating kick in for showers and thunderstorms to develop once again by Saturday afternoon. Now, yesterday we did put a 10%, and we did keep the, keep the 10% chance for uh, tomorrow as well. But I think we need to bump that up to a 20% chance for spotty to isolated showers and storms. Then, as we head into Sunday, we're tracking a weak front and then also another sea breeze boundary that will create our next chance for some more scattered to widespread rainfall. So this is the severe weather outlook for Saturday and into early Sunday. We just have a small portion of Washita and Calhoun counties under that green color. That just means there could be a few strong, uh, isolated, severe thunderstorms, but mostly for late Saturday and into early Sunday. But it does extend itself Sunday and into early Monday for the a good portion of the Arklamis. So again, uh, the primary concern does look, look to be maybe some brief damaging winds and some heavy downpours, but that's really the only concern we have at this time. In the meantime, highs for today will be. At about 92 degrees. We're not expecting any severe thunderstorms for today, but we will see the isolated chance for showers and storms to develop. Then we'll settle back to about 74 degrees overnight tonight. The rain will fizzle out, but the cloud cover will linger. Looking at the rest of your seven day forecast, temperatures warming back up into the lower and middle 90s for your Saturday before our next scattered and widespread chance for showers and storms arise for Sunday and a Monday before we dry out starting on Tuesday. Highs during that time will range anywhere from the upper 80s to lower 90s. All right, thanks, Lexi. Well, a Louisiana teenager just became the first African American to win the Scripps National Spelling Bee. 14 year old Zaila Avangard from Harvey, Louisiana, didn't show much stress on stage and only struggled with one word. She is the first African American and first Louisiana winner of the Bee and only the second black champion in the Bee's 96 year history. Zaila has described spelling as a side hobby, although she routinely Routinely practice for seven hours a day. She is a basketball prodigy who hopes to play in the WNBA and holds three Guinness World Records for dribbling multiple balls simultaneously. The winning word was Maria, a, a genius of the tropical Asiatic and Australian trees. So look at there. <laughs> All right. Well, social media has been a way for us to connect with our friends and family from all over. And at the same time, we are sharing experiences, locations, and art through our photos. NBC 10's Isabel Auburn brings us more on how towns with art are benefiting through posts. That's right, guys. Thanks to social media outlets like Facebook and Instagram, people are always looking for the next best photo op. And that's where art murals come in. Whether it's a group photo, a selfie, or just an aesthetically pleasing photo, art murals make a great background. That is the goal, right? Uh, to have something that somebody wants to take a selfie in front of. And it's not all about the likes and shares. Murals also bring in beautification and revenue for cities. People share this information uh, with social media, and it becomes a little hot spot that is great for the town, for, for the tourist industry. Tracy Carter, the owner of Jack's Craft Smokehouse, says having a mural on his building has turned visitors into customers. And that brings people from all over. We've seen people coming from Michigan, Washington State, and all over the country just to take a picture in front of that sign. It's the Welcome to West Monroe mural. You know, it's got a little bit of iconic uh, icons that are on there, you know, like the Duck Dynasty people that were here before. Uh, and then just what our city has to offer. You know, our river's right there, and that mural just really kind of ties this whole thing in. Another mural is also gaining attraction in downtown Monroe. It's the newest addition created by Jason Byron Nelson. He says the goal was to create a piece that shows what the town is all about. Connecting to our, my heritage, our heritage, the culture of our area. And so with that in mind, I tried to only use animals from our region. And with the help of social media users, his art will not only be shared with those who pass by, but also everyone on the internet. In Monroe, Isabel Albritton, your weather station. 
All right. Well, I may need to check that out after my shift. Well, still to come on NBC10 News today, if you like fish, then we have the perfect spot for you. We'll tell you where you can get that next big catch. We'll be right back. For 30 years, Carpet Care Cleaning and Restoration has been a trusted name in Washita Parish for carpet cleaning and so much more. Our work is done by licensed and certified professionals with quality truck-mounted equipment resulting in a healthy and beautiful environment from top to bottom. Don't replace, restore your floor with the help of our friendly technicians. Call, text, or book online to schedule your appointment today. Let us work a little magic on your home or office. Who has what it takes to go beast mode? These kids did. Who will be next? Watch NBC 10 News at 6 and 10 every Thursday to see this week's Beast of the Week. Sponsored by My Rose Restaurant. Do you have difficulty swallowing foods, liquids, or medications? Call or visit the Swallowing Clinic online today to schedule a consultation. For life-changing results and exceptional care, the great Having a family business for over 40 years, well, it means you're pretty good at what you do. And when you're as good as Mayo and Sons, folks just need to know. Specializing in farm and construction equipment, their knowledge will help you get the job done. Starter and alternator, same-day service with aftermarket warranties available. They're experts at diesel fuel injection systems, fuel pumps and turbos, lawnmowers, boats, four-wheelers, motorcycles, basically anything with an engine. So call Mayo and Sons today and get started. Join me, Dr. Oz, weekdays at 4 on NBC10. Download the NBC10 News app, sponsored by Vantage Health Plan. My favorite Olympic sport to watch is probably gymnastics. I've never done it, but you know I was a dancer, and I think the same mentality of discipline kind of correlates with gymnastics and dance, where I really relate to it. My favorite Olympic sport to watch would be athletics, also known as track and field, as a collegiate long distance runner. I know the feeling of when you're standing on the line waiting for that gun to shoot off, and it's just like all the anticipation is just building up inside of you. Sports with Chris Demersion, weeknights on NBC 10 News. Now, your local weather. Looking at our regional temperature map, we're not the only ones waking up nice and warm this morning. Temperatures are waking up into the 70s and even the 80s across our region. We are seeing 74 in Jackson, 72 in Tuscaloosa. Meanwhile, it is 80 in Memphis and Tulsa. And as you get closer to the coast, we see a little bit more of those 80s, including New Orleans, which so far is the warmest temperature on the map at 81 degrees. Well, here's a first look at our forecast brought to you by Gordon McKernan with our featured fur baby of the day. This is we Weenie, and Weenie just turned 11 back in April, so happy belated birthday to Weenie. Again, we will see the chance for some isolated showers and storms as we head into the afternoon with that daytime heating. Highs for today will be around where we should be for this time of the year in the lower 90s. All right, thanks, Lexi. Well, Iberia Parish has been featured on a list of the top seven fishing destinations in the United States for 2021. Fishermen in Cyper Moore Point are helping keep tourism alive in this edition of Destination Louisiana. normally meet at about 6 in the morning. I supply everything. Uh, you just get on a boat and we fish for eight hours. And it's a great day in the water. That's Captain T. Blue with Gotta Have Faith Charters out of Sippermore Point, Louisiana. The end of July, we start getting trout in. When the water clears up, gets salty. And once July comes from July to November, the trout get real well. Salt water will go out into the reefs. Captains can take you to Marsh Island, grass beds, or deep holes in the bayou to catch redfish, sheephead, garfish, and trout. 
you have no stress. You get on a boat, let the captain take you out, fish for eight hours, get home, you don't have to clean fish. Uh, if you want crabs, we'll go catch crabs and ball crabs that evening. Uh, we also have a bunch of these pretty camps you can see in this area. We do have people on our roster that we can call. If you want to spend the weekend, we can rent the camp for you. Uh, we, so we, we can line it all up. Like make a phone call, we'll line up the stay and the fishing trip for you. What more can you ask for? That's it. <laughs> for Destination Louisiana, in Sippermore Point, I'm Caroline Marcello. Sounds fun. All right, when we come back, another look at your weather forecast up next. In 2018, over 4,100 people were killed in accidents involving big trucks in the United States. Semi-trucks, which weigh more than 20 to 30 times as much as passenger cars, can cause severe injuries in the event of a wreck. If you were injured in an 18-wheeler accident, call the law firm of Eddie Clark & Associates. Eddie Clark, the people's lawyer, can get you serious results. Call today. We don't just settle, we settle up. Due to Saturday's airing of NBC Sports, the following children's programs can be seen on these days and times on NBC 10. Have you forgotten what I told you? Don't forget, if you've been in an automobile accident, come see me because I've got your back. Strauss Theater Center is celebrating 90 years of continuous live theater in the Arklamis. To celebrate, get tickets to three shows this season for just $90. Be part of the magic of live theater and join today. Destination Japan. Tokyo's centrally located Akihabara district is also known as Japan's electric town. It's a hub for retro gaming, offbeat cafes, and all things anime. The center of Japan's otaku culture, visitors flock to shop vintage toys, video games, and anime collectibles. Destination Japan, brought to you by... All About Flowers in El Dorado. At Go Auto, we know car insurance can be expensive. The good news is, it doesn't have to be. Go Auto helps you save more money on car insurance. How do we do it? Well, that's easy. We have no commission agents, no expensive add-ons, low down payments. You can customize your payment plan, and you choose your payment date. We've just lowered rates in your area, so call, click, come by, or download our free app to get your quote and start saving today. Ready, set, go, 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 go on, go. When a tornado warning is issued, immediately go to the lowest level of your home and find a small interior room. Make sure you have a safe spot picked out ahead of time. Act calmly, cover yourself with a mattress or a blanket, and don't waste time as these storms move quickly. Get the six minute advantage with the live Storm Tracker Doppler radar on NBC 10, your weather station, sponsored by Homeland Bank. Where's your money? Join me, Dr. Oz, weekdays at 4 on NBC 10. Download the NBC 10 News app, sponsored by Ross Downs, Attorney at Law. Now, your local weather with meteorologist Lexi Birmingham. The time now is 528. Let's go ahead and take another quick look at your forecast. Again, we do still see this system kind of hanging around the southeastern Texas coast, which has been continuing to bring showers and thunderstorm activity across that area. In fact, you could see some flash flood warnings in place just to the southwest of Houston. And no, your eyes are not deceiving you. Elsa is still going strong across areas like Delaware, New Jersey, and the northeast coast, still holding a tropical storm strength, I believe, with maximum winds at 50 miles per hour. But here in the Arklamis, we will see the influence of a sea breeze boundary, which again will get shower and thunderstorm activity to develop by this afternoon. Once we lose daytime heating, things will fizzle out by Friday evening into Saturday morning, although it is going to be a bit of a cloudy start. And I think the three-kilometer model is kind of overdoing this just a little bit. We are still expecting Saturday to be a mostly dry day, but we are still tracking a weak front that's going to move in by Sunday and increase our chance for showers and thunderstorms, not only for our Sunday, but possibly even into our Monday as well. So forecast highs for today could be a little bit all over the place. I think it's just going to be dependent on who sees rainfall and who doesn't. But most of us will see anywhere from the upper 80s to the lower 90s. Then forecast lows overnight tonight will look a little bit more uniform in the lower 70s, although a few areas could be warmer, like 76 degrees in Shreveport, 74 here in the Twin Cities, as well as Greenville and Vicksburg. 
All right, thanks, Lexi. Well, straight ahead, the Salvation Army of El Dorado has new leaders. We will introduce you to them after the break. Stay with us. I'm at a stoplight and crash. An SUV hits me from behind. The insurance company thought I deserved zero, but I needed a hero. So I got Gordon. I'm attorney Gordon McKernan. If you've been in a car wreck, I'm ready to put the boom on anything that gets between you and the money you deserve. Gordon fought like a superhero and got me $425,000. We recovered over a billion dollars for our clients and we're ready to fight for you. Just call me. Get it done. Call 888-8888 or go to getgordon.com. I'm Charles Hogan with the Hogan Agency, specializing in insurance, bonding, and safety services, supporting individuals, families, and businesses. Visit us on Ask the Experts on MyArklamist.com. To destroy the works of the evil one and the kingdom of darkness with light and to rescue men from the law of sin. This is the Gospel of Christ. We hope you'll take your Bible and study along with us here at the Gospel of Christ each Sunday morning at 6 a.m. right here on Monroe's NBC KTVE 10. This is the Gospel of Christ. Having a family business for over 40 years, well, it means you're pretty good at what you do. And when you're as good as Mayo and Sons, folks just need to know. Specializing in farm and construction equipment, their knowledge will help you get the job done. Starter and alternator, same-day service with aftermarket warranties available. They're experts at diesel fuel injection systems, fuel pumps and turbos, lawn mowers, boats, four-wheelers, motorcycles, basically anything with an engine. So call Mayo and Sons today and get started. It's hard to think of that day. We didn't know this would be coming. Good job. We're dealing with a mass in the brain. You hear about it, stories of other people, but you don't think it's going to happen to you. Why? What happened? What could we have done? You don't know how to prepare for a three-year-old for brain surgery. St. Jude has given us anything you need. You have no worries for food, transportation, treatment. Everything's taken care of. You feel very taken care of, and you feel like they actually care about your son. This is all made possible by people giving out, you know, out of their kindness at their heart. I see my son's future when I look at him. I hope Abraham can grow up and just be happy. He'll just have a happy life. <laughs> Straight line winds can sometimes cause as much or more damage than tornadoes. With winds occasionally exceeding hurricane force, don't ignore warnings and have a plan. You may need to seek shelter when a warning is issued. Join me, Tamron Hall, weekdays at 11 on KTVE NBC 10. Sports with Chris Demersion, weeknights on NBC 10 News. Morning, everyone. Waking up this morning is going to be mostly dry, but with our live storm tracker Delta radar, we are picking up on just a few light areas of drizzle across the Arkham Mist, especially across our eastern and southeastern parishes. But we do expect a little bit more as we head into the afternoon. And daytime heating kicks in. We'll aim for about 87 degrees by lunchtime and top into the lower 90s later this afternoon. That's your forecast. First, NBC 10 News Today continues. You're watching KTVE, NBC 10, your weather station celebrating 65 years of keeping you informed, home of the live storm tracker Doppler, and voted by you as the best newscast in the Arklamis. This is NBC 10 News Today. Good morning. Thanks for sticking with NBC 10 News today. I'm Gabrielle Pfeiffer. Well, new this morning, President Biden is taking action today to make it easier for you to get a better job as unemployment claims rise. Tracy Potts joins us with those details and more. And national security leaders. President Biden signs an executive order today asking the Federal Trade Commission to restrict non compete agreements that prevent workers from taking a better job with the competition. The White House estimates millions of blue collar workers are affected. This, as new unemployment claims rise, suggesting job growth may be stalling. 
The president turns his attention to the economy today after announcing some troops will stay in Afghanistan through the end of August. Most are gone. President Biden said he had no choice after the Trump administration promised the Taliban the U.S. would pull out. Once that agreement with the Taliban had been made, staying with a bare minimum force was no longer possible. So let me ask those who want us to stay, how many more, how many thousands more Americans' daughters and sons are you willing to risk? It's a mistake across the board, and I bear, very much fear we're going to feel the consequences in the not too distant future. Also, the FDA and CDC announced for now there's no need for a booster shot, adding that people who get the COVID vaccine are protected from severe disease and death. Please get vaccinated. It will protect you against the surging of the Delta variant. Nearly 160 million Americans are fully vaccinated. Tracy Potts, NBC News. Well, a man facing life in prison for killing a pregnant mother in El Dorado has accepted a plea deal. Jay Moody will serve two 40-year sentences for first-degree murder and 15 on a firearm enhancement for a total of 95 years. Moody was originally facing the death penalty for murdering 22-year-old Marcella Modica. Modica was shot twice and left for dead on January 25th on Old Mill Road outside of El Dorado. She was only weak away from delivering a baby boy. Well, members of law enforcement agencies statewide met to send a message to their legislators asking them not to override the veto, veto to conceal carry bill, a bill that lessens restrictions. Political reporter Shannon Hecht spoke to officers and the senator who sponsored the bill on the impending veto override session. Members of law enforcement agencies from across the state say that this bill would put their officers in more danger when they're out on the streets. But the senator who sponsored the bill says that it could help people better protect themselves. The bill would allow people over 21 to conceal carry a firearm without a permit or training. It's just a, it boils down to asking the government for permission and paying them fees to exercise your constitutional right. The Chiefs of Police Association has been vocally against the bill from the start. Other law enforcement groups like the Sheriff's Association have taken a neutral stance. In attendance, sheriffs and police stood together to share their concern for officer safety. This by itself could increase violence as we know it. Officers say the training helps people be more responsible with firearms and without it, it could lead to more mistakes. And if everyone could have a hidden weapon, it could put more officers on high alert for every call. But Senator Morris says that that is already the case. Criminals will carry regardless of the law. This is just a law for law-abiding citizens uh, who want to protect themselves from those that would break the law. Louisiana is already an open carry state, but the officers say not being able to see the weapon adds to the danger. It puts people on notice that a firearm is present and it allows them to be better prepared. With violent crime on the rise nationally, officers say that this is not the time for this law. But those in support say they want to be prepared to defend themselves. Lawmakers have until July 15th to submit their ballots in support of the veto session, and it would take place on July 20th. There, they will need a two-thirds majority in the House and the Senate to override the veto. At the Capitol for your local election headquarters, I'm Shannon Hecht. Well, new leaders are taking over the Salvation Army of El Dorado. Welcome Majors David and Joanna Robinson. The couple was previously in Oklahoma, but they're not new to the natural state. They have been in El Dorado now for about three weeks, just getting acclimated to the town and their new staff. I just want to help others. And uh, if anybody needs you know help they need to come to the salvation army and we can work with them and figure out what what needs to happen and we just are here to serve the robinsons say they are working with the staff to continue planning for the future well, coming up on NBC 10 News today, a huge honor for a Washita alum, plus a former Wasman football coach is expected to return to the area. Stay with us, but first, here's Lexi with a look at your forecast.
Well, today we'll be staying warm and humid with a chance for isolated showers and storms. And we may have a very similar setup on the way for our Saturday. We are, however, tracking a weak front to move in by Sunday, which will increase those rain chances for the start of the new work week. But we could possibly see some drier conditions in time for Tuesday. We're going to have all those details coming up in your complete forecast in just a few minutes on NBC 10 News Today. Get more radiant, younger looking skin. Dr. Gray and Rustin now has Tempsure. This radio frequency treatment safely sends heat waves into your skin, reducing the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and cellulite. Call Dr. Gray or book your appointment online today. Boyette's Flooring and Construction. We do more than floors. Located right behind the fish house off 165 North. It's time for a fresh at McCann School of Business and Technology. You can get the skills to create new opportunities for yourself and your family. It's your time. Our programs in healthcare, business, criminal justice, or IT support focus on your future. I would absolutely recommend McCann. I really enjoy what I do. It feels good to call myself a, a healthcare professional. Get the training to become an essential worker. Now is your time. Call or visit McCann.edu. DV Real Estate, your trusted hometown team of experts. Take your shot at a million dollars. If you've chosen to get the COVID-19 vaccine, you can enter to win one of four $100,000 drawings with one lucky vaccine recipient winning the grand prize of $1 million. Under 18, you can enter to win a $100,000 scholarship. Get your vaccine and visit shotatamillion.com to learn more. Don't miss your shot at a million dollars today. Brought to you by the Louisiana Department of Health. See official rules for details. My favorite Olympic sport is swimming. I was a competitive swimmer for about a good chunk of my uh, adolescence, and uh, there's nothing that really gets your blood pumping and screaming at the TV like a very close swimming match, and it's amazing that the medal can be determined by one one-hundredth of a second. One of my favorite sports as well. I mean, I just came out of college, and I swam in college. I've always kept up with everything in terms of, like, the men's, the women's, every event. It's one of the most watched Olympic sports. Can't blame us for, for watching it. Definitely not. <laughs> Want to know where the fish are biting this weekend? Catch the Honey Hole Insider with my fishing buddy, David Owen. The Honey Hole Insider Weekly Fishing Report, Friday mornings at 6 on NBC10 News Today. The NBC10 Fox 14 Barren Weather App, sponsored by Level Tech. Keeping the weight off just got real. Dr. Grain Rustin now has Sculpture, a non-invasive body contouring treatment. Lasers are used to end stubborn pockets of fat, helping you to keep your weight loss goals. Call Dr. Gray or book your appointment online today. Follow us on the KTVE NBC10 KARD Fox 14 Facebook page. Now, your local sports with Chris Demersion. Well, this is something about being a former Beast of the Week. Washita alum Cashy Crockett was named Louisiana's Track and Field Player of the Year. With that, he's in the running for the Gatorade National Player of the Year. Crockett ripped through the 110 and 300 meter events in the recent 5A championships. Hey, and at one point, the former Lion was ranked first in the nation. Crockett is headed to ULL this fall to continue his career. Well, last Friday, we shared the story of Jasmine Reynolds. The Rabel Track and Field star made a little history. Jesse Davis this has her story in our latest Beast of the Week. And now it's time for the Beast of the Week. What's going on with everybody? We're actually back at it again with another episode of Beast of the Week. And of course, you know we're at Myro's, the exclusive sponsor for Beast of the Week. They have burgers, wings, quesadillas, anything you can name, they have it. Enough talking food. I know y'all get hungry right now. As you can see, we have another Beast of the Week winner. It goes to Ms. Jasmine Reynolds from Ravel High School track team. She's actually the first female to sign a track scholarship at Ravel High School. So, Ms. Jasmine, kind of tell me how does it feel to kind of make history down there at, um, at Rabel. It feels good. I feel, I feel famous. <laughs> but, um, I feel like, I don't know, I made history. Of course I made history. But it just feels good because now a lot of people look up to me. A lot of people under me, like lower class and stuff. It, it feels good. I'm glad I did it because I wasn't going to do it at first. Yeah, I see that you got the bling on, look like somebody that's very special to you, that close to your heart. So kind of tell me about the person that you are, that you ran around your neck and how special they are to you. And... This is my dad. He real special. He passed away two years ago. 
due to cancer. He also ran track his high school years. And he went to state every year. He won state. He was real fast. And losing him just kind of made me go harder and made me want to do it even more. Congratulations to her. Well, stunning news from Shreveport. Former Wasp and head football coach Dean Smith is out in Southwood. This news first reported by Jimmy Watson over at the Shreveport Times. The Cowboys went 0-6 in a shortened COVID-19 season. Smith led the Wildcats for six seasons. According to the report, Smith intends to go into administration at a school in the Monroe area. No school, of course, stated in the article. All right, the cost of success can be a little bit pricey, it appears. Louisiana Tech Baseball's associate head coach Mike Silva is now a head coach at Nichols. Silva led the Bulldogs to eight shutouts and during the 2021 season. The pitching staff as a whole sat within the top five in the Conference USA and earned run average. Fourth in strikeouts. Nichols, by the way, went 21 and 34 this past season. Some players are already taking advantage of the new rules of transferring within the SEC. Faraday alum Dear Rosenthal is the latest. The offensive lineman has committed to play football for Kentucky, as announced on his Twitter page. Last week, Rosenthal announced he was going to the transfer portal. The former LSU star played in five games during the COVID-19 season. Before then, he spent time away from the team due to what Coach Ed Orgeron calls personal issues. All right, check this out. Surprise news from Tokyo. The International Olympic Committee announces zero fans will attend the games. This is due to a spike in COVID-19 cases in Japan. The area is set to declare a state of emergency, which starts Monday and goes through August 22nd. You can watch the Olympics right here on KTV, in case you didn't know. Speaking of Team USA, all the action starting July 23rd through August 8th. And again, right here on NBC10. Stay tuned for all of the fun. All right, more news and weather coming up on Channel 10. Jared Floyd, Chief Meteorologist of the Art Limits. When I had the accident, Christian Cree was right on it. His whole team was right on it. He came in and just took over my pain and suffering. It was his pain and suffering. He was like, don't worry. I just spoke with them and everything is okay. You know, you couldn't give me another lawyer. You couldn't give me nobody else. Just give me Christian. He's just great. I mean, he's a God sent. Just give him a call. Russell, Russell, Russell. Is the open road calling your name? Some guys were born truck drivers. Be trained and certified in just 16 days. Classes are available to get you on the path to your new career. CDL training, third-party testing, safety training, job placement, and financing available. See the world and get paid for doing it. Don't let life pass you by. Call Coastal right now. Exit 101 in Calhoun. You hate coming home to a dark house, and leaving lights on all night drives utility bills out of sight. You need the Bell & Howell Bionic Spotlight, the outdoor motion sensor light that turns on the instant motion is detected and turns off when the motion stops. Bionic Spotlight is solar-powered, so there's no expensive wiring or batteries to change. The instant the motion sensor detects movement, Bionic Spotlight triggers eight high-intensity LED lights that shower the entire area with light and then shuts off 30 seconds after it stops. So you can spend hundreds of dollars on an outdoor lighting system or you can get the motion activated bionic spotlight for just $19.95 with free shipping bionic spotlight is backed by our five-year warranty but wait if you order right now you can double the offer and get a second bionic spotlight just pay a separate fee and when you call ask about the contractor's discount on the complete six light home value set here's how to order call 1-800-518-4183 or go to bionicspotlight.com that's 1-800-518-4183 or order online at bionicspotlight.com Are you a pilot? Do you have access to a plane? Then come fly with Pilots for Patients. Make that $100 hamburger worth just a little bit more and discover the joy of volunteer flying. PFP is a fleet of pilots who fly Louisiana-based patients to their treatment facilities. Our pilots fly 172s, jets, and everything in between. Use your passion and love for aviation to become a hero in your community and join the PFP fleet. To become a pilot, call the number on your screen or visit our website today. Weather, sponsored by Twin City Outdoor Equipment. Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. Now, your local weather with meteorologist Lexi Birmingham. 
The time is now 5.49 on this early Friday morning. We made it to the weekend, and it is going to be a good start so far for the morning. Taking a look outside, we're starting to see some subtle colors of our sunrise with a few clouds off towards the east, but at least here in the Twin Cities, our skies are actually looking pretty good. As far as temperatures are concerned, it is a warm start out there as we wake up into the 70s across the Arkhamus. We are 70 degrees in Ruston, 71 in El Dorado, and 74 in Alexandria. Some of our highest temperatures are Monticello. At 75 and Texarkana at 76. Live storm tracker Doppler radar is showing just a few light showers across some of our eastern and southeastern parishes, but we do anticipate a little bit more activity later this afternoon once the daytime heating kicks in. So here's what we could see around 4, about 2, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Temperatures will range anywhere from the upper 80s to those lower 90s. And then once uh, we reach sunset, we will lose that daytime heating and shower activity will fizzle out and we will be off to a little bit of a cloudy and warm start for our Saturday, only to see the next round of isolated showers and storms develop by Saturday afternoon. Now, we are tracking the potential of a weak cool front to move in by late Saturday and into early Sunday, and this cool front is going to increase our chances for more scattered and widespread rain and thunderstorm activity. Now, with that being said, there is going to be a very low end risk for some strong to severe weather. It's not really a big concern for Saturday into early Sunday, just portions of Washtenaw and Calhoun counties under that level one marginal risk, but it does expand itself a little bit by the time we reach Sunday around 7 o'clock in the morning. That's when this outlook is going to begin. We do have a low end marginal risk in place for a good chunk of the Arklamis for the potential, maybe some brief gusty winds, heavy rain, and maybe even some lightning, but we're not expecting anything too extensive. Forecast highs for today are going to be where we should be at 92 degrees with isolated showers and storms. Then we'll settle back to about 74 degrees overnight tonight. By then the rain should be wrapping up, but the cloud cover will stick around. Looking at the rest of your seven-day forecast, isolated showers and storms will be back for Saturday. A little bit more scattered in nature for both Sunday and Monday. But it does look like we could see some much drier conditions starting on Tuesday of next week. And that could continue into Wednesday and Thursday, while highs top anywhere from the upper 80s to lower 90s. I'm David Owen. It's time for the Honey Hole Insider. Well, we're back to summertime fishing at its finest. It's getting a little warm out there. Had some great weather for the 4th of July weekend, but now it's hot again. Great time of year to go out and catch a bass on a crankbait. We got this Revo X combo. Uh, this will do great in that Taylor Fisher tournament this weekend on the river. We got that. Don't forget about it. It's a great benefit tournament, but this little bait right here, little dredger, Fishing those cuts in the river, the river's falling, so it's getting just about right for all those fishing cuts and fishing th those kind of places, getting back around the button willows, those bass will be out of there. It'd be a great time to catch some bass on the river this weekend. And if you want something bigger to fish those big crankbaits, like on Caney and Darbone and Channel Hole, stuff like that, we got some 7-Eleven rods that really make it a lot easier to fish those big crankbaits. The Veritas winch stuff is great, uh, so come by and see us for that. Uh, crappie fishing starting to get good on the bayous, getting a little better. Uh, the bayous falling about four feet, so it's getting about to that point where you can catch them in the tops and the stumps. Not much current in the in the bayou. The river's pulling, but there's not much current. The brim slowed the brim fishing down. The brim fishing has been good in the bayou all all summer, but that's starting to slow down. Cat fishing is going to get real good, so check that out. The river's going to be the hot spot for the next couple of weeks, but you can still go to Caney, Darbone, any of those kind of places. Bussy Break's still a hot spot, catching some good bass and catching some brim up there, too. So come by and see us at the Honey Hole. We'll rig you up for catch whatever you want to catch. The reason I'm here is because of my wife. His singing got me through brain cancer. He's going to fall in love with you. A lot of things in my life are interconnected. Kayla Drizzle gets it down! And it's all about that rhythm. When I was younger, I uh, was married and had children and went through a divorce. I never expected to be there. I didn't know what those papers meant. 
I didn't know what came next. How do I find a lawyer? I don't know any of them. I've never been around any of them. That's what got me started in law. I absolutely sympathize with the clients. I absolutely care about the clients because I understand what it's like to be there. You want Darla Crawford on your side. 736 million people struggle to meet their basic needs. An estimated 40 million people have fallen victim to human trafficking. 51 million kids go hungry every day. And every day, United Way and our partners, including Kellogg, Wells Fargo, and UPS, fight for the health, education, and financial stability of every person in every community. When a tornado warning is issued, immediately go to the lowest level of your home and find a small interior room. Make sure you have a safe spot picked out ahead of time. Act calmly. Cover yourself with a mattress or a blanket. and Don't waste time as these storms move quickly. Sports with Chris Demersion. Weeknights on NBC10 News. When your day is ending, ours is just beginning. News never stops. And we're dedicated to connecting you to what matters most. Not just covering what's happening, but uncovering every angle of the story. Plus, Jared's forecast will prepare you for the weather ahead. If you're in this area, obviously heed the tornado warning. Before you end your day, start planning your tomorrow with NBC10 News at 10. Your weather station. Download the NBC 10 News app. Sponsored by Vantage Health Plan. Here's another look at your seven day forecast. Temperatures are going to top where we should be for this time of the year in the lower 90s this afternoon, with another chance for some isolated showers and storms. With a similar setup on the way for Saturday, but temperatures will be just a little bit warmer, getting closer to those middle 90s. Now, by Sunday, the weak cool front's going to move in, and it will kind of interact with a little bit of a sea breeze boundary for a little bit more widespread scattered shower and thunderstorm activity, with maybe the possibility of a few isolated strong thunderstorms, with winds being the primary concern. We are looking at some drier days heading into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. Highs will top into the upper 80s to lower 90s while lows settle into the 70s. And here's another look at our forecast pet of the day. This is Weenie, who did celebrate his 11th birthday back in April. So a happy belated birthday to Weenie. He's so cute. So cute. I love the, the whole hat. birthday hat and everything. Yeah, the <laughs> balloons and all. <laughs> all right, well, more news on the way in our 6 o'clock hour. We'll see you there. Download the NBC10 News app, sponsored by Ross Downs, attorney at law. You can't fight today's germs with yesterday's weapons. That's why you need the Germ Fighters. We use an EPA hospital-grade disinfectant cleanser to help you win the battle against coronavirus and other germs and viruses. And it's completely safe. Germ Fighters, call us today. What's up, America? It's your boy, Ice-T. And if you know me, you know I love my cars. And that's why I protect my babies with Car Shield. I know a car out of warranty means repairs are going to be expensive. And Car Shield helps get those repairs covered so I don't have to. We saved over $6,000 on a complete engine rebuild of our truck. The dealership told me, well, you know, you have to pay for this. I said, no, don't have to pay for this. Why? I got Car Shield. When your car breaks down, you can take it to any certified mechanic or dealer, and Car Shield handles the rest. Your show stopping coverage also includes roadside assistance, towing, and rental coverage at no additional cost. Without Car Shield, there was no way that I could afford to get my car fixed. And remember, Car Shield cars go farther. Make the smart choice and protect yourself from expensive car breakdowns. Call now for a free and instant protection plan quote. Call 800-930-0301. That's 800-930-0301. Is COVID-19 keeping you from finding a great job with great pay? Nova Workforce Institute of Northeast Louisiana is here to assist you. Call us today at 318-855-1923. That number again is 318-855-1923. Nova, your workforce connection. Need tips on how to stretch your dollar? How about advice on how to manage debt or answers to complex financial topics? Get these answers and more on Money Minute from Washita Valley Federal Credit Union. Mondays on NBC 10 News Today. 
I really enjoy watching the surf competitions and new this year is skateboarding. I am from California, so I think, you know, I used to work at a surf shop um, during college and then for skateboarding to be in the Olympics this year is absolutely amazing. Some of the sports that always have drawn me, uh, not just the running, but also the cycling, either one of those where you can really get to see yep. the landscape of the different venues where they're at. It's going to be gorgeous. Tune in to the Olympics. It'll air on July 23rd right here on NBC10. See the real-time conditions outside our window. Check out the NBC10 Tower Cam in every newscast. Sponsored by Creed & Creed, your local injury attorneys. Why O'Cedar? Because when I get home, we like to play crocodile on the floor. O'Cedar Easy Ring removes over 99% of bacteria, even with just water. Easy and truly clean floors. O'Cedar, it feels great to feel at home. When the feet that don't take a break need a break, that's a job for O'Keefe's for Healthy Feet. It's America's number one selling foot cream for guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked feet. Also available in O'Keefe's Working Hands. Guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked hands. KTVE, NBC10, El Dorado, Monroe. Friday morning, everyone. Hopefully you are off to a good start so far this morning. Our live storm tracker Doppler radar showing for the most part we are nice and dry, but it is picking up on just some light shower activity just outside of our viewing area. But as we head into the afternoon and daytime heating kicks in, we are anticipating the chance for more isolated showers and storms to develop as highs for today top near 91 degrees. That's your forecast first. NBC 10 News Today continues. You're watching KTVE, NBC10, your weather station celebrating 65 years of keeping you informed. Home of the live storm tracker Doppler and voted by you as the best newscast in the Arklamis. This is NBC10 News Today. Happy Friday to you. I'm Gabrielle Pfeiffer. Maya and Hunter have the day off. Well, new this morning, members of law enforcement agencies statewide met to send a message to their legislators asking them not to override the veto to the concealed carry bill, a bill that lessens restrictions. Political reporter Shannon Hecht spoke to officers and the senator who sponsored the bill on the impending veto override session. Members of law enforcement agencies from across the state say that this bill would put their officers in more danger when they're out on the streets. But the senator who sponsored the bill says that it could help people better protect themselves. The bill would allow people over 21 to conceal carry a firearm without a permit or training. It's just a, it boils down to asking the government for permission and paying them fees to exercise your constitutional right. The Chiefs of Police Association has been vocally against the bill from the start. Other law enforcement groups like the Sheriff's Association have taken a neutral stance. In attendance, sheriffs and police stood together to share their concern for officer safety. This by itself could increase violence as we know it. Officers say the training helps people be more responsible with firearms and without it, it could lead to more mistakes. And if everyone could have a hidden weapon, it could put more officers on high alert for every call. But Senator Morris says that that is already the case. Criminals will carry regardless of the law. This is just a law for law-abiding citizens uh, who want to protect themselves from those that would break the law. Louisiana is already an open carry state, but the officers say not being able to see the weapon adds to the danger. It puts people on notice that a firearm is present and it allows them to be better prepared. With violent crime on the rise nationally, officers say that this is not the time for this law. But those in support say they want to be prepared to defend themselves. Lawmakers have until July 15th to submit their ballots in support of the veto session, and it would take place on July 20th. There, they will need a two-thirds majority in the House and the Senate to override the veto. At the Capitol for your local election headquarters, I'm Shannon Hecht. Well, a man facing life in prison for killing a pregnant mother in El Dorado has accepted a plea deal. Jay Moody will serve for a total of 95 years in prison. The state was originally facing or trying uh, to seek the death penalty with him. Now, Moody, Moody murdered 22-year-old Marcella Modica on January 25th outside of El Dorado last year. She was only weeks away from delivering a baby boy. 
Well, at least 15 drive-by shootings have happened in Bastrop in the last two months. We learned that st statistic as Bastrop police shared more witnesses are coming forward in the investigation into the shooting death of a 10-year-old on July 4th. Visitation and funeral services are happening today and Saturday. We have the times and locations of those services online on myarklamis.com. Well, El Dorado police are investigating a shooting that left one man dead. It happened early Wednesday morning around 2 o'clock on Omega Street. Neighbors say they woke up to what they thought were fireworks, but it actually was gunshots. Police say when they arrived, 21-year-old Jacoby Edwards was found laying, lying in the street unresponsive. What did you see when you looked out of your window? Just that... Uh Cots are pouring up and doing CPR in the dude. Uh, I can't keep nothing down because uh, I feel like throwing up. <laughs> Just there was a shock of seeing what had happened. Now, this is still a very active investigation. Police haven't said what led to the shooting, nor have they released any information on the shooter. We will keep you updated as information becomes available. Now on to a coronavirus update. Louisiana health experts say the Delta COVID-19 variant is now the dominant variant in the state. Cases, hospitalizations, and the positivity rate are all on the rise. Dr. Joseph Cantor says it's too early to tell if we are getting close to another COVID surge, but says if COVID, if positive tests continue to grow for the next few weeks, a surge is possible. The risk of being exposed to COVID when one goes about their day-to-day -day activities is higher now than it was a couple weeks ago. Right now, the state is offering incentives to encourage you to get your shot. That includes the vaccine lottery, which has its first drawing next week. And that deadline for the first drawing is actually tonight. You must enter by midnight in order to be drawn for a $100,000 giveaway. It's the first of four $100,000 prizes leading up to the $1 million grand prize drawing on August 13th. At last check, more than half a million people had signed up for the giveaway. And the Delta variant is also rapidly spreading across Arkansas for the second day in a row. COVID-19 cases have surpassed 1,000 in the daily case count. Current active cases are higher than active cases one year ago. Well, Morehouse Parish School District is hosting a job fair today at Bastrop High School. In order to fill vacant teacher positions, be sure to come prepared. Job interviews will be conducted on site during the career fair. Even those who aren't yet certified to teach may be able to qualify. The school district's personnel director says they are willing to reimburse tuition in order for college graduates to be certified. Or we are willing to work with individuals who have bachelor's degrees who are willing to consider a career in teaching. So they have to be enrolled in a teaching or teacher preparation program, and we are able to provide tuition reimbursement for um, you know for the courses that they're taking. The job fair will happen again at the Bastrop High School gymnasium today from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Well, on to Arkansas news. The State Fair is back in business this year. Fair officials made this announcement this morning when the fair was canceled last year due to the pandemic. Organizers held the taste of the fair so people could still get their fair food fixed, but this year it will be a full fair. Full fair. What does that mean? Well, that means... We're going to have a carnival, we're going to have a midway, we're going to have the games, the free attractions, we're going to have the pageants competitions and the talent competitions, the creative arts, the canneries, the pie contest, all of that stuff that you've known and loved for all those years. Record-breaking attendance is expected this year, so organizers are asking people who have not been vaccinated to wear their masks. The fair will be held from October 15th to the 24th. Well, we all know her, we love her, and guess what? We'll have the chance to see her in person. Of course, you know Simone Biles will be going to Japan for another chance at the Olympic gold, but 
After that, she'll be coming to Arkansas in October. That's right. She will be at the Simmons Bank in North Little Rock, headlining the Gold Over America Tour presented by Athleta. The tour will feature an all-star team of female gymnastic champions spreading messages of empowerment. Tickets will go on sale on July 22nd. Well, speaking of the Olympics, around a dozen demonstrators staged a protest against the Tokyo Olympics today as the Olympic torch arrived in the Games host city. Despite authorities' announcement yesterday to hold the Games in Tokyo without spectators, the protesters called for a complete cancellation of the Games, citing rising COVID-19 infections across the capital. Now, coming up on NBC10 News today, could the local landmarks like murals be boosting the local businesses? We talk to local shop owners, but first, here's Lexi with a look at your commute cast. Well, if you are an early riser getting ready to head out and start your day, we're looking pretty good out there so far. Temperatures are sitting nice and warm in the 70s, and we will eventually see those upper 80s and lower 90s as we head to the afternoon. And with the daytime heating, a few isolated showers and storms could be possible. Here's a quick look to our I-20 traffic cameras. Not too many folks out on the roads just yet. Just a few early birds getting an early start to their Friday. We're going to have your full and complete forecast coming up here in just a few minutes on NBC10 News Today. News sponsored by Billy Wood Ford in Gina. It is said the kitchen is the heart of your home. When you think about your kitchen, does it need help? At Achievers, our support team and expansive showroom are available to create the kitchen of your dreams. We are here to turn your vision into a reality that your family can enjoy for years to come. Let us help you with your kitchen remodel and home improvement needs. Achievers Home Improvements. We do it all. In 2018, over 4,100 people were killed in accidents involving big trucks in the United States. If you were injured in an 18-wheeler accident, call the law firm of Eddie Clark & Associates. We don't just settle, we settle up. I'm Danielle Kelly Tolbert, and I'm a CASA volunteer. Our mission as CASA volunteers is extraordinary. We help children find safe, permanent homes as soon as possible. You don't have to be a foster parent. You don't have to adopt in order to positively impact children in the foster care system. If you're thinking about becoming a CASA, I really encourage you to take the next step and come to training. And you can be the hope in a child's story. Do you have difficulty with Bell's palsy or facial drooping? Call or visit the Swallowing Clinic online today to schedule a consultation. Buy a new Gravely Mower now from Twin City Outdoor Superstore and save at least $500. And for a limited time, be eligible to win free maintenance for the life of your new mower. Pay zero down and no interest for 48 months. A Gravely ZTX 52, only $87 a month. A Gravely HD 52, only $134 a month. Or a ProTurn Z60, only $158 a month. A lucky winner each month wins free maintenance for the life of the mower. As always, free fill-up and delivery and backed by our factory-trained professionals at Twin City Outdoor Superstore, West Monroe. St. Jude is fighting for one goal, like this one mission, life. I get to keep her and we get to have her and enjoy her and she gets to grow up, which is the best gift like anyone could ever give. Beast of the Week shirts are provided by Aubrey's Graphic Designs. You dream it, we print it. Shirts, photos, videos, banners, weddings, flyers, and more. Call 235-2324 or 323-6110 and tell them the Beast sent you. The NBC10 Fox 14 Barron Weather sponsored by Sam Henry. News, sponsored by Billy Wood Honda. Now, your local weather with meteorologist Lexi Birmingham. Good morning, Lexi. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you, Gabrielle? You know, I am better. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting better minute by the minute. You know, I could do like a like a Friday happy dance, you know what I mean? Okay, well, like, we'll do our yeah, happy dance. Yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. We just it's need Friday. a beat. <laughs> yeah, it's Friday. Thank you, Lord.
<laughs> now, what are we expecting, Lexi, with the weather today on this wonderful Friday? On this wonderful, fantastic Friday, yep. pretty much our summertime pattern we've seen over the last couple of days. Waking up this morning across our region, temperatures are off to a warm start, sitting in the 70s, although a few areas already getting a head start and starting off in the 80s, including Tulsa at 80 degrees and New Orleans and Mobile tied with the warmest temperature at this time at 81. Well, here's another look at our forecast. Brought to you by Gordon McKernan with our featured fur baby of the day. This is Weenie, and he celebrated his 11th birthday back in April. So happy belated birthday to him. You are absolutely adorable. And I know it's a little sticker, but you got a little party hat on. That's too cute. Again, we will see the chance for isolated showers and storms as we head into the afternoon. And highs for today are going to be where we should be for this time of the year in the lower 90s. Happy belated birthday to you, Weenie. Well, check this story out. A Louisiana teenage, teenager just became the first African American to win the Scripps National Spelling Bee. 14 year old Zaila. Avon Guard from Harvey, Louisiana, didn't show much stress on stage and only struggled with one word. She is the first African American and first Louisiana winner of the B and only the second black champion in the B's 96 year history. Zaila has described spelling as a side hobby, although she routinely practiced for seven hours a day. Woo, that's a long time. She is a basketball prodigy, but hopes to play in the WNBA and holds three Guinness World Records for dribbling multiple balls simultaneously. The winning word for uh, her was Maria, which is a Guinness of tropical, aesthetic, and Australian trees. I don't even know if I could have spelled that, but congrats to her. <laughs> well, in the community, social media has been a way for us to connect with our friends and family from all over. And at the same time, we are sharing experiences, locations, and art through our photos. NBC 10's Isabel Alburton brings us more on how towns with art are benefiting through posts. That's right, guys. Thanks to social media outlets like Facebook and Instagram, people are always looking for the next best photo op, and that's where art murals come in. Whether it's a group photo, a selfie, or just an aesthetically pleasing photo, art murals make a great background. That is the goal, right? Uh, to have something that somebody wants to take a selfie in front of. And it's not all about the likes and shares. Murals also bring in beautification and revenue for cities. People share this information uh, with social media and it becomes a little hot spot that is great for the town, for, for the tourist industry. Tracy Carter, the owner of Jack's Craft Smokehouse, says having a mural on his building has turned visitors into customers. And that brings people from all over. We've seen people coming from Michigan, Washington State, and all over the country just to take a picture in front of that sign. It's the Welcome to West Monroe mural. You know, it's got a little bit of iconic uh, icons that are on there, you know, like the Duck Dynasty people that were here before. Uh, and then just what our city has to offer. You know, our river's right there, and that mural just really kind of ties this whole thing in. Another mural is also gaining attraction in downtown Monroe. It's the newest addition created by Jason Byron Nelson. He says the goal was to create a piece that shows what the town is all about. Connecting to our, my heritage, our heritage, the culture of our area. And so with that in mind, I tried to only use animals from our region. And with the help of social media users, his art will not only be shared with those who pass by, but also everyone on the internet. In Monroe, Isabel Albritton, your weather station. When we return, well, if you like to go fishing, then we have the perfect spot for you. We'll tell you where you can get the next big catch. Stay with us. Jared Floyd, Chief Meteorologist of the Ark Limits. So the bank that I went to here was one of the local credit unions, but we didn't get that home time feeling. I was home watching t TV. And I seen a commercial came on um, with the owner of Catfish Charlie. So Homeland Bank, it resonated basically to what I, I needed. I needed to build a business relationship with a small time bank and how can we grow together. It's banking the way it's supposed to be. And now our money is at Homeland Bank. 
Where's your money? Can you say this 10 times fast? Super Stinky Sewer Solvers. Mark Johnson Plumbing won't get tangled up with plumbing problems. Call the plumber number today, 318-255-1332, and ask about our online coupons, or visit us at markjohnsonplumbing.com. Take your shot at a million dollars. If you've chosen to get the COVID-19 vaccine, you can enter to win one of four $100,000 drawings, with one lucky vaccine recipient winning the grand prize of $1 million. Under 18, you can enter to win a $100,000 scholarship. Get your vaccine and visit shotatamillion.com to learn more. Don't miss your shot at a million dollars today. Brought to you by the Louisiana Department of Health. See official rules for details. At Jim Taylor Chevrolet, we are obsessed with serving you. It's what drives us to never give up until you have just the right vehicle. It's why we often give deep discounts on top of what Chevy offers. It's why our certified techs are intensely trained to care for all makes and models. We even remind you when your vehicle needs service and offer to pick it up for you. But no need to worry about that. Just know we'll take care of you. Come experience what we're all about at Jim Taylor Chevrolet. You can't fight today's germs with yesterday's weapons. That's why you need the Germ Fighters. We use an EPA hospital-grade disinfectant cleanser to help you win the battle against coronavirus and other germs and viruses. And it's completely safe. Germ Fighters, call us today. Problems. The ones nobody talks about at cocktail parties. We go looking for them. No matter the obstacles, no matter the odds, we surround a community's most critical problems, and we fight. United Way fights for the health, education, and financial stability of every person in every community. Will you? Join me, Tamron Hall, weekdays at 11 on KTVE NBC 10. Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. Now, your local weather with meteorologist Lexi Birmingham. Good morning, everyone, and happy finally Friday. We made it to the weekend. The time now is 6.20, and I hope everyone's morning is off to a good start so far. It's looking pretty good outside as we look off towards the east, starting to see our sunrise with a few very light clouds, and not to mention, too, temperatures are off to a warm start. We are waking up into the 70s across the Arklamis, including 73 in Vicksburg and Natchez, along with Alexandria. Meanwhile, it is 74 in Monticello, 71 in Ruston and the Twin Cities. Cities, and our warmest temperature is Texarkana at 76. Live storm tracker Doppler radar showing for the most part we are nice and dry, but it is picking up on just these little blips of light drizzle across the Arklamis. But we are going to anticipate a little bit more activity later this afternoon once that daytime heating kicks in. So everything should be coming into fruition sometime between the mid to late morning, as you can see here on our future tracker. But once we lose that daytime heating, conditions will quiet down. However, it is going to be a little bit of a cloud we start heading into our Saturday morning as winds stay out of the south and temperatures wake up once again into the 70s. We are anticipating a little bit more isolated activity than what we did see the last couple of days for Saturday afternoon. So we have since bumped up those rain chances from 10 to 20 percent. But we're really not expecting anything severe. But that could be just a little bit different as we head into early Sunday morning as this weak cool front begins to push through. Now for Saturday into early Sunday, it's not going to be really a big concern. Just the outer edges of water. Washita and Calhoun counties under that level one marginal risk, but it is going to be extended a little bit into the Arklamis starting around Sunday at 7 a.m. and into early Monday, as indicated by this green color. Uh, some of these thunderstorms will be isolated, uh, strong or severe, with the potential concern being uh, strong, damaging winds at times, also some heavy downpours and maybe even some lightning. Before today, we'll see 92 degrees, isolated chances for showers and storms by the afternoon before we fall back to 74 degrees overnight tonight. By then, the rain will be wrapping up, but the cloud cover will stick around with winds light out of the south. Looking at the rest of your seven-day forecast, again, rain chances will be on the increase for both Sunday and Monday of next week. But it does look like some drier conditions will grace our forecast starting on Tuesday and continue to Wednesday and Thursday. Highs will range anywhere from the upper 80s to lower 90s over the next seven days, while lows fall back into the 70s. 
All right, thanks, Lexi. Well, Iberia Parish has been featured on a list of the top seven fishing destinations in the United States for 2021. Fishermen in Cyperport Point are helping keep tourism alive in this edition of Destination Louisiana. I normally meet at about 6 in the morning. I supply everything. Uh, you just get on the boat and we fish for eight hours. And it's a great day on the water. That's Captain T. Blue with Gotta Have Faith Charters out of Sippermore Point, Louisiana. The end of July, we start getting trout in when the water clears up, gets salty. Once July comes from July to November, the trout get real well, salt water, we'll go out into the reefs. Captains can take you to Marsh Island, grass beds, or deep holes in the bayou to catch redfish, sheephead, garfish, and trout. You have no stress. You get on the boat, let the captain take you out, fish for eight hours, get home, you don't have to clean fish. Uh, if you want crabs, we'll go catch crabs and ball crabs that evening. Uh, we also have a bunch of these pretty camps you can see in this area. We do have people on our roster that we can call. If you want to spend the weekend, we can rent the camp for you. Uh, so we, we can line it all up. I make a phone call, we'll line up the stay and the fishing trip for you. What more can you ask? For? That's it. <laughs> for Destination Louisiana in Sippermore Point, I'm Caroline Marcello. Straight ahead, trending topics is up next. Who has what it takes to go beast mode? These kids did. Who will be next? Watch NBC 10 News at 6 and 10 every Thursday to see this week's Beast of the Week. Sponsored by My Rose Restaurant. Sports with Chris Demersion. Weeknights on NBC 10 News. The Denture Center is here, and we love what we do. Focusing on dentures, partials, repairs, relines, and dental extractions with IV sedation. Our in-house lab makes for a fast turnaround time. Dr. Patel has over 17 years of experience to help improve the confidence in your smile. We participate in the Medicaid Adult Denture Program, Vantage, Delta Dental, MetLife, Humana, and Emeritus. You won't find a better price. Start living life again. The Denture Center, Louisville Avenue in Monroe. Call today. Dad, what are you doing home? I'm tired. I had to come take a nap. <laughs> okay, lazy. I'll see you at 3.30. Bye. <sighs> Adjustable beds are the next big thing in sleep. You can go from work to sleep and back to work at the push of a button. Plus, they can benefit those with lower back and upper leg pain. I know. I'm sorry. I'm on my way. <sighs> How's the nap? An adjustable base was calling my name, but there is a difference between lazy and tired. American mattress salad, where you don't have to go into debt for a great night's sleep. The balances on your credit cards are worse than your yoga poses. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a stretch to make those payments. Call Consolidated Credit. They can lower your interest rates to get you out of debt fast without destroying your credit. The program works. Call Consolidated Credit. Call 1-800-320-1579. 1-800-320-1579. Honey, how did we get into this hole? Well, with all the medical bills and credit card debt, it all just piled up. Have you tried to call Sam? My paycheck is about to be garnished and I'm afraid we'll lose the truck. Have you tried to call Sam? I know. I'll call Sam. Oh, great idea. Let Sam help you get out of that financial hole with straight answers to your serious bankruptcy questions and no upfront payment on a qualified Chapter 13 bankruptcy. Just two feet of water is all that's needed to float the average car. Never drive into high water and never drive around barriers blocking a flooded road. Don't underestimate the force and power of rushing water. Remember, turn around, don't drown. Jared Floyd, Chief Meteorologist of the Arc Limits. Now, your local weather with meteorologist Lexi Birmingham. 
The time now is 6.27. Before we get to trending topics, let's go ahead and take a look at your, a uh, quick look at your forecast. And for your mowing forecast or maybe your yard work forecast, uh, it's going to be a little bit tricky over the next several days. If you want to get yard work done by the early morning hours on a Friday and Saturday, uh, you may be lucky enough to do so before those showers and storms roll in. But Sunday and Monday are not going to be as good. The next available opportunity will most likely be Tuesday of next week. But here's a closer look at forecast highs for today. We're talking upper 80s to lower 90s. Again, some areas may be just a bit cooler uh, because they could see a little bit more rainfall than the rest of us. But forecast lows overnight tonight are going to look a little bit more uniform with one another. Temperatures mostly settling into the 70s with maybe a few areas warmer like 74 in Greenville, Vicksburg and the Twin Cities and 76 in Shreveport. All right, your favorite part of the show, trending topics. At first, a python on the loose inside a Louisiana mall has been found. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> uh, Kara, a 12-foot yellow and white Burmese python, escaped from her enclosure inside Blue Zoo and Aquarium at Mall of Louisiana in Baton Rouge. Now, two days after she went missing, animal tracking experts found evidence of where Kara was lurking and retrieved her from a ceiling crawl space in the mall. Wow, no doubt her handlers are happy to have her back without incident. The zoo, which sits in a two-story structure within the mall, was forced to close during the search. However, the shopping areas remained open to customers. Officials say the snake never posed a danger to the public. Mm. I know, just zooming in on her face, she looks kind of cute, but at the same time, if mm. I saw her, I'd be like, ooh, yeah, no, I'm going to mm. I'm gonna go the other way. Mm. <laughs> you, cute color, you know, that's that's really, I think oh, it's the I color that's say. making me say, yeah. oh, she looks kind of cute. No, I'm still going to run from you. <laughs> but they sure. found her, like, in the ceiling, so it's like she crawled up there. It's yeah. Like, crazy. How, I wonder how she got past all the different people. She's so I long. Know. I 12 foot, it. I think is what they said. Like 12 foot or like 12 years old or something like that. But anyway, she's huge. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad she's back. Yeah, for with, sure. With her owners. <laughs> kind of put everyone at ease. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when it comes to making yourself at home, this next burglar takes it to the extreme. The suspect, seen here in this ring doorbell video, broke into a home in Covington, Washington on June 30th. The man entered through an unlocked window that the homeowners say was open during an extreme heat wave. The suspect then proceeded to make himself comfortable. He cooked some waffles, ate a lean cuisine, and used the bathroom before startling the homeowners awake. The suspect, the suspect later identified as Philip Cedarleaf, was found a short distance away from the home and taken into custody. He made waffles. How did the smell of the waffles not wake them up first? <laughs> I have no idea. But then again, they could be heavy sleepers, you know, but can you imagine? Are you that say, like, hey. heavy of a sleeper? I mean, any I mean, some people are. Some people say, like, I wouldn't wake up during a, <sighs> a fireworks show. Oh, my gosh. I am not a heavy sleeper. I am not a heavy sleeper. I, whatever, <laughs> sense, um, sounds, all of that wakes me up. I think ever since I've been on the, like, working in the mornings, I've been more of a light sleeper because I've always feared of, like, not waking yeah. up for my alarm, so I've, like, trained myself to do that. So. You know, that's what yeah, I'm the biggest Yeah, the littlest sounds will just wake me up now. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. All right. Well, up next, Buckingham Palace opens its garden to visitors today, allowing members of the public to explore the grounds of Britain's Queen Elizabeth's official residence for the very first time. People will be able to walk through the 39-acre garden with a self-guided tour until September. Guests will also have the rare opportunity to picnic on one of the one of the monarch's garden lawns as part of their visit. The garden's current landscape dates back to the 1820s when King George IV converted Buckingham House into a palace. Oh, fancy. <laughs> you know, I, I think that that is a very beautiful place, obviously historic. I would love to go there. Oh, yeah, I think it's like one of those, like, kind of like, almost maybe once in a lifetime opportunities and like have a picnic there like who can say I had a picnic at Buckingham Palace not too many people can say not that. too many people but you know maybe I can put that on my bucket list maybe I can take a vacation there one Ooh, one yeah, yeah. Uh. Especially, especially now like in COVID restrictions yeah. are coming down just mm -hmm. a little bit mm -hmm. but of course uh, I think I'll have to get my money together first that oh for sure like a absolutely very expensive trip <laughs> well especially the, the the flight there and back probably yeah. is like gonna be the most expensive oh and long too. <laughs> oh, very long, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, don't go anywhere. We have more news when we come back. 
Medlands Roofing is excited to welcome you to the latest location in our growing business. We're now offering full services at 2104 Farmerville Highway. Medlands Roofing in Ruston is a manufacturing site. You come in, select your profile and color, and have it made while you wait. Medlands also has everything you need to complete your project, such as styrofoam and fiberglass insulation, roll-up doors, purlins, and much more. And be sure to watch for our next new location in El Dorado at 2420 West Hillsboro. Can't wait to see you at Medlands Roofing at 2104 Farmerville Highway in Ruston. When Don's not busy taking care of us, he's busy taking care of you. Whether it's our family here at home or our family of customers at the dealership, one thing is certain, you will be taken care of. I know that when I visit Jim Taylor Ford that I'm in good hands and they will take good care of me. It's what we do. It's what we do. It's what we do. Let our family take care of yours. Come experience what we're all about at Jim Taylor Ford Lincoln in Ruston. Let me tell you about Darla Crawford. I'd much rather talk about Bruce. When you've been involved in an accident, she understands the frustration, the pain you're going through. Bruce has been doing this for 30 to 35 years, and he's gotten very good at she it. She takes an interest in every detail. She works hard. Bruce is the magic in this equation. We're a team. We work well together. That's what's unique about Flint and Crawford. If you have questions, we're here to answer them. We're here to help you if you need us. Call Flint and Crawford. Destination Japan. Shikansen, known in English as the Bullet Train, is a network of high-speed rail lines connecting Tokyo with Japan's distant regions. Traveling at speeds of up to 200 miles per hour, the train not only achieves high speed, it also provides a high standard of safety and comfort. Destination Japan, brought to you by... All About Flowers in El Dorado. When I had the accident, Christian Creed was right on it. His whole team was right on it. He came in and just took over my pain and suffering. It was his pain and suffering. He was like, don't worry. I just spoke with them, and everything is OK. You know, you couldn't give me another lawyer. You couldn't give me nobody else. Just give me Christian. <sighs> he's just great. I mean, he's a godsend. Just give him a call. We're looking for good news for Monroe and Delhi. Go to MyArkLimits.com under the Community tab to submit your good news story. Then watch Wednesday mornings during NBC10 News Today for good news. Sponsored by our community partner in Monroe and Delhi, Greg Manley Jr. Join me, Tamron Hall, weekdays at 11 on KTVE NBC10. KTVE NBC10, El Dorado, Monroe. Friday morning, everyone. Hopefully, your morning is getting off to a good start so far. Taking a look at our live storm tracker Doppler radar, we're just picking up on some very light drizzle and shower activity across the Yarkomis. But as we head throughout the rest of our afternoon, we do expect that activity to increase in coverage, but still remain isolated in nature. And even a few thunderstorms will be possible as highs top anywhere from the upper 80s to the lower 90s. That's your forecast first. NBC 10 News Today continues. You're watching KTVE, NBC10, your weather station celebrating 65 years of keeping you informed. Home of the live storm tracker Doppler and voted by you as the best newscast in the Arklamis. This is NBC10 News Today. Thanks for sticking with NBC 10 News today. New this morning, President Biden is taking action today to make it easier for you to get a better job as unemployment claims rise. Tracy Potts is joining us with the latest on that and more. And national security leaders. President Biden signs an executive order today asking the Federal Trade Commission to restrict non compete agreements that prevent workers from taking a better job with the competition. The White House estimates millions of blue collar workers are affected. This as new unemployment claims rise, suggesting job growth may be stalling. The president turns his attention to the economy today after announcing some troops will stay in Afghanistan through the end of August. Most are gone. 
President Biden said he had no choice after the Trump administration promised the Taliban the U.S. would pull out. Once that agreement with the Taliban had been made, staying with a bare minimum force was no longer possible. So let me ask those who want us to stay, how many more, how many thousands more Americans' daughters and sons were you willing to risk? It's a mistake across the board, and I very much fear we're going to feel the consequences in the not-too-distant future. Also, the FDA and CDC announced for now there's no need for a booster shot, adding that people who get the COVID vaccine are protected from severe disease and death. Please get vaccinated. It will protect you against the surging of the Delta variant. Nearly 160 million Americans are fully vaccinated. Tracy Potts, NBC News. Well, a man facing life in prison for killing a pregnant mother in El Dorado has accepted a plea deal. Jay Moody will serve a total of 95 years in prison. He was originally facing the death penalty. Moody murdered 22-year-old Marcella Monica. Monica was shot twice and left for dead on January 25th of last year on Old Mill Road outside of El Dorado. She was only weeks away from delivering a baby boy. Well, members of law enforcement agencies statewide met to send a message to their legislators asking them not to override the veto to the concealed carry bill, a bill that lessens restrictions. Political reporter Shannon Hecht spoke to officers and the senator who sponsored the bill on the impending veto override session. Members of law enforcement agencies from across the state say that this bill would put their officers in more danger when they're out on the streets. But the senator who sponsored the bill says that it could help people better protect themselves. The bill would allow people over 21 to conceal carry a firearm without a permit or training. It's just a, it boils down to asking the government for permission and paying them fees to exercise your constitutional right. The Chiefs of Police Association has been vocally against the bill from the start. Other law enforcement groups like the Sheriff's Association have taken a neutral stance. In attendance, sheriffs and police stood together to share their concern for officer safety. This by itself could increase violence as we know it. Officers say the training helps people be more responsible with firearms and without it, it could lead to more mistakes. And if everyone could have a hidden weapon, it could put more officers on high alert for every call. But Senator Morris says that that is already the case. Criminals will carry regardless of the law. This is just a law for law-abiding citizens uh, who want to protect themselves from those that would break the law. Louisiana is already an open carry state, but the officers say not being able to see the weapon adds to the danger. It puts people on notice that a firearm is present and it allows them to be better prepared. With violent crime on the rise nationally, officers say that this is not the time for this law, but those in support say they want to be prepared to defend themselves. Lawmakers have until July 15th to submit their ballots in support of the veto session, and it would take place on July 20th. There, they will need a two-thirds majority in the House and the Senate to override the veto. At the Capitol for your local election headquarters, I'm Shannon Hecht. Well, new leaders are taking over the Salvation Army of El Dorado. Welcome Majors David and Joanna Robinson. The couple was previously in Oklahoma, but they're not new to the natural state. They have been in El Dorado now for about three weeks, just getting acclimated to the town and their new staff. Well, Charlene Flukas of Ruston, you're this morning's winner of our Jim Taylor dealership's $50 gas card. That's only if you call before our newscast ends. That's 318-807-0900. If you want to win some gasoline, register at one of the Jim Taylor dealerships or online at myarchalmist.com. Watch for your name every morning on NBC10 News Today. Well, coming up on NBC10 News today, the LSU Tigers just picked up a star player. We'll tell you who up next. Add a splash of flavor to your summer with Johnny's Pizza House. Dive into any of our 10 mouth-watering specialty pizzas, like the Hog Heaven, Chicken Ranchero, Buffalo Chicken, Barbecue Chicken, Bacon Cheeseburger, Muffaletta Pizza, Veg Out, Pepperoni Power, Mighty Meat, and Maui Wowie. Use your phone to scan the 
QR code on your screen to visit johnnysph.com and start your order. Soak in the summer with Johnny's Pizza House. Let's share a slice. Buy a new Gravely Mower now from Twin City Outdoor Superstore and save at least $500. And for a limited time, be eligible to win free maintenance for the life of your new mower. Pay zero down and no interest for 48 months. A Gravely ZTX 52, only $87 a month. A Gravely HD 52, only $134 a month. Or a ProTurn Z60, only $158 a month. A lucky winner each month wins free maintenance for the life of the mower. As always, free fill-up and delivery and backed by our factory-trained professionals at Twin City Outdoor Superstore, West Monroe. Are you tired of dodging the IRS for back taxes? Are you curious about potential new options available to you because of COVID-19? The coronavirus has forced the government to take extensive actions, making this the most opportunistic time for you to finally restructure or even resolve your tax debt with the IRS. If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes, have unfiled tax returns, and are experiencing hardships because of the impact of COVID-19, you could qualify for more aggressive resolution plans with the IRS. National Tax Experts has specialists ready to help you determine your eligibility for these programs. Act now before it's too late. This could be your best chance to resolve your tax debt. If left unresolved, your debt will continue to accumulate penalties and interest and eventually be subject to serious and punitive collection activity. Call to take advantage of these temporary tax relief options to resolve your tax debt today. Call 1-800-443-1644. Here, you can find your style in every aisle. Got an eye for design? We've got a design for your budget. Want endless aisles of more? We've got more, way more. When you explore our showrooms of style, you'll find whatever you're into. At a price, you'll really get into. Lowe's, home to any budget, home to any possibility. The NBC 10 Fox 14 Barren Weather App, sponsored by Level Tech. And now, your Go Nation report, sponsored by Legacy of Farmerville. LSU has graduated a ton of talent at linebacker in recent years. A few notable linebackers, Devin White, Jacob Phillips, Jacoby Stevens, and Jabril Cox, all on NFL rosters. And Ed Ogeron has just landed another future star at the position out of Orlando. Four-star linebacker Demario Tolan is LSU bound. Announcing his commitment to the Tigers today, Tolan is now the seventh four-star added to the Tigers class of 2022, according to 24-7 Sports. Tolan commits to LSU over Clemson, Tennessee, Florida State, and Miami. And speaking of recruits, Catholic High offensive tackle Emory Jones posted to Twitter today that he is set to announce his commitment July 30th. And as one is added, another is gone. Former LSU left tackle Dare Rosenthal is headed to Lexington. The Tiger transfer has selected Kentucky as his next landing spot. The move leaves a huge hole for LSU to fill. Junior Cam Wire is the likely replacement. For your Go Nation report, I'm Brooke Kirchhofer. Sports with Chris Demersion, weeknights on NBC 10 News. USA Travel Plaza is your all-inclusive travel stop with everything you need, plus a full-service restaurant where you can even grab a bite to eat. Check us out on Facebook to learn about our daily specials and nightly entertainment. USA Travel Plaza, with three convenient locations right off I-20. At DB Real Estate, we have a passion for helping people buy and sell their homes. Signature service, experienced agents with proven results, a name you know and trust. DB Real Estate, your hometown realtor since 1986. Make your appointment today. Dunny Grubbs is having a grand reopening with a massive warehouse sale July 10th, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. All overstock items must go. You don't want to miss these deals. Only available July 10th. Come join the fun with food, drinks, drawings, and so much more at the Donny Grubbs Grand Reopening July 10th. Donny Grubbs is having a grand reopening with a massive warehouse sale July 10th, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. All overstock items must go. You don't want to miss these deals. Only available July 10th. Come join the fun with food, drinks, drawings, and so much more at the Donny Grubbs Grand Reopening July 10th. My daughter's name is Melanie. She has a godlike spirit in her. She's beautiful. She's just a beautiful person. I'm at St. Jude because I have a brain tumor called pineal blastoma. 
I had ovarian cancer two times, so I told her, if I can do it, you could do it. The hardest part of cancer is knowing that you have it. But when she told me that it would be okay and that she'll always be there, then I was fine. Mel doesn't look like she's going through anything. And I think St. Jude has a lot to do with that because they just make it comfortable for her. You shouldn't give up hope and try to make the best of things. I would have not known how to bathe or deal with all this stuff. So St. Jude has been a godsend for me. When a tornado warning is issued, immediately go to the lowest level of your home and find a small interior room. Make sure you have a safe spot picked out ahead of time. Act calmly. Cover yourself with a mattress or a blanket. and Don't waste time as these storms move quickly. Help area kids get ready for school. Drop off your gently used school uniforms, new socks, new shoes, belts, and backpacks to the KTVE KARD studios in West Monroe or one of these other locations. Call 211 for more information. This morning on Today, Duran Duran rocks us into the weekend with our favorite hits and new music, too. Don't let the party start without you and the City Music Series. This morning, only on Today. Join me, Tamron Hall, weekdays at 11 on KTVE NBC 10. Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. Now, your local weather with meteorologist Lexi Birmingham. The time now is 649 on this Friday morning, and hopefully your morning is getting off to a good start so far. Taking a look outside, we are starting to see some clouds building in, but we're also seeing some peaks of sunshine off towards our east. Temperatures are off to a warm start as we wake up into the 70s across the Arklamas. So far, our highest temperature is 76 in Texarkana. Ruston is our lowest at 70 degrees. Live storm tracker Doppler radar showing for the most part we are nice and dry, but we are picking up on just a little bit of light shower activity. Activity off towards Madison and Tensaw parishes off towards our east. Now, we do anticipate a little bit more coverage as we head into the afternoon. Once daytime heating kicks in, we will see some isolated shower and thunderstorm activity, but no severe weather is expected for this afternoon. We'll dry out as we head into Saturday morning, but it is going to be a cloudy and warm start as winds stay nice and light out of the south before the next round of isolated showers and storms develops with the daytime heating for our Saturday. Those will quickly fizzle out, but then we're tracking a weak cool front to move in. As we head into the early morning hours on Sunday, and that'll bring our next chance for a little bit more scattered and widespread shower and thunderstorm activity. Now, some of these may be briefly strong or severe, although it's looking like a very low chance, but either way, it's looking very small for Saturday. Only Washita and portions of Calhoun Parish, but it does get extended a little bit more as we head into our Sunday and into early Monday. You can see a good chunk of the northern and northwestern Arklamas under this level one marginal risk, including the city of El Dorado, Ruston, and of course the city. Monroe, and I think we're going to go ahead and count Columbia, uh, Columbia as well. Uh, the main concerns look to be maybe some brief uh, gusty winds at times, but some periods of heavy rain and some lightning could also be possible. Before today, we'll be right around where we should be at 91 degrees. Showers and thunderstorms will be possible. Then overnight tonight, we'll fall back to about 74 degrees as clouds continue to linger with muggy conditions and winds light out of the south. Looking at the rest of your seven day forecast again, Sunday and Monday looks to be our best chance to see that increase in shower and thunderstorm activity. But it does look like for now, some drier conditions will be back starting on Tuesday. Highs for the most part will be around normal in the upper 80s to lower 90s, while lows at night fall back into the 70s. I'm David Owen. It's time for the Honey Hole Insider. Well, we're back to summertime fishing at its finest. It's getting a little warm out there. Had some great weather for the 4th of July weekend, but now it's hot again. Great time of year to go out and catch a bass on a crankbait. We got this Revo X combo. Uh, this will do great in that Taylor Fisher tournament this weekend on the river. We got that. Don't forget about it. It's a great benefit tournament, but this little bait right here, little dredger, fishing those cuts in the river. The river's falling, so it's getting just about right for all those fishing cuts and fishing th those kind of places, getting back around the button willows, those 
bass will be out of there. It'd be a great time to catch some bass on the river this weekend. And if you want something bigger to fish those big crankbaits, like on Caney and Darbone and Channel Hole, stuff like that, we got some 7-Eleven rods that really make it a lot easier to fish those big crankbaits. The Veritas winch stuff is great. Uh, so come by and see us for that. Uh, crappie fishing starting to get good on the bayous, getting a little better. Uh, the bayous falling about four feet, so it's getting about to that point where you can catch them in the tops and the stumps. Not much current in the, in the bayou. The river's pulling, but there's not much current. The brim slowed the brim fishing down. The brim fishing has been good in the bayou all, all summer, but that's starting to slow down. Cat fishing is going to get real good, so check that out. The river's going to be the hot spot for the next couple weeks, but you can still go to Candy, Darbone, any of those kind of places. Bussy Break's still a hot spot, catching some good bass and catching some brim up there, too. So come by and see us at the Honey Hole. We'll rig you up for catch whatever you want to catch. Bodie Brooks and Christina Jensen tonight on NBC 10 News. Max Fresh Market. We're all about fresh. We've got the freshest produce under the sun. Our meat department is the number one. And when you walk through our door, it smells so fresh, you'll be back for more. So come on in and shop today. And you'll see why at Max we say Max Fresh Market, we're all about fresh. Get on the road again at Sunco Sound with an upgraded navigation system. Two wheels or four, know where you're headed with confidence with the latest in navigation technology. Adding a navigation system to your ride is simple, affordable, and installed by MECP certified installers. Navigating this new world can be tough. Get on the road again at Sunco Sound, where you don't have to have a new car to get new car technology. Briard Street, Monroe. This July, the games return for an Olympics unlike any other. The Tokyo Olympics, brought to you locally on NBC by Nissan. You deserve a car that thrills you. A car that puts goosebumps on your goosebumps. This is the new Nissan. We are Angie and Lou Lyles. Welcome to Floorworks. The largest showroom, biggest selection, and friendliest staff in Northeast Louisiana. We install custom showers, countertops, backsplashes, and waterproof flooring. Offering free estimates, competitive pricing, 12 months no interest financing, and we understand that your budget is important too. We are family owned and operated and want to make your house the home of your dreams. Floorworks, Cypress Street, West Monroe. Hey, good morning. Hey. Hey. Is Trisha joining? Yeah, uh, let's just give her a minute. Foster care, huh? What's that? 25,000 kids will age out of the foster care system. 25,000? Yeah, and be completely on their own in this pandemic. Just talking about foster care can help foster care. Hey! <sighs> Wrong meeting. Again. Donate your small talk. Is that the new intern? The NBC 10 Fox 14 Barren Weather Ad, sponsored by Level Tech. Well, here's one last look at your seven day forecast. Before we go, we will see the chance for isolated showers and storms for today and tomorrow. Highs will be in the lower and getting close to those middle 90s in time for Saturday. A weak cool front is going to move in by Sunday and that will increase our rain chances once again and that will continue into the early half of our Monday, some of which may be briefly strong or severe, with the primary concern being some uh, brief gusty winds. But dry conditions look to arrive in time for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. Highs will top into the upper 80s and lower. 90s while loose and night fall back into the 70s. And here's one last look at our fur cast fur baby of the day. This is Weenie. Again, he celebrated his 11th birthday back in April with the little sticker party hat. He's so cute. <laughs> Happy belated birthday, Weenie. He's so cute. Makes me want a little dog. I know, me too. Look at those puppy eyes. <laughs> All right, well, stick around for the Today Show, and don't forget you can join us on Fox 14 in just a few minutes. Have a great day.